I support the concept of a high-speed rail in California, but believe it's extremely important that the impacts of such a system be closely examined. As an architect, I strongly believe in the use of drawings and pictures. A picture does indeed have the value of a thousand words. Accordingly, I've made an effort to put together a picture of what an elevated train system might look like. There's very little information, so I've quizzed high-speed rail consultants as well as others as to the specifics of such a structure. The result is this digital tour that you can see up on the screen. And we're looking at uh, Palo Alto High School football field. The vertical road on the left is is Churchill, and at the top above the screen would be El Camino. Down below would be the Caltrain right-of-way as well as Alma. So we'll take a bird's eye view of the football field. And in fact, you can see our bird right here. And the bird is not flying. The bird is actually sitting on an elevated uh, structure that would, would support the train system, which as you've heard would be four trains in width and approximately 21 feet above the crossing at Churchill. And as well, this would apply at other crossings in Palo Alto. In addition, there would be a, a series of support poles and suspended cables that would in turn support the electrification needed for the high-speed rail as well as Caltrain in its future electrification program. Additionally, the system would be used by freight trains. Moving over to the other side of the structure, now we're on Alma looking northbound and the structures on the left side here where Caltrain currently resides and we're approaching the intersection of Alma and Churchill. And to the north would be the the uh, downtown station and then to the south would be the station at California Avenue and you can see, see the track does descend here uh, very gradually to get down to grade at the uh, California Street Station. Now we jump back to Churchill Avenue and you can see we're approaching the intersection of Churchill and Alma and we'll go ahead and continue on through actually the underpass here. Uh, as, it, as you heard the width of the structure would be 75 feet to accommodate the four tracks. And then proceeding to the other side, we can actually see the western side of the overpass here. Um, now we're on Churchill looking eastbound, approaching it. And then adjacent is Mariposa Avenue, parallel to the tracks, and these are actually some residences that currently exist there. So as you can see, with an uh, elevated train structure, there is the potential for significant visual and other impacts.